Everybody, welcome back to the Vaulted Wednesday live stream show. My name is Jake Egg, and thank you guys for joining us here today. A good day in crypto. FTX was arrested and detained yesterday or on Monday in Bahamas. We saw yesterday uh, he was denied bail by a judge, and we saw some good inflation numbers here in the U.S., good CPI numbers. Welcome, everybody. Who's all with us today? We got Jazz Royce in the house. So cool, Dad Cap. Valentin, how you doing? One life, no regrets. Siska Lulu, clever Crover, uh, and a fellow Hebrew. Looks like we have a fellow Hebrew. Uh, they said, Volt, make me rich. <laughs> I like that. Welcome, everybody. Flying Dutchman's here. Ali's here, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As always, when you come in, do us a favor. What's up, my Ultra Journey? Smash that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Volt the like button. We have an exciting show with a lot of news here. A lot of news that we're going to be covering here today. What's up, Nick Mason? How you doing? Marky Faz, good to see everybody in here. But as mentioned when we started the show, crypto markets doing some crypto market things. What's up, Nanu No, Beaver Lumber? How's everybody doing, guys? $880 billion market cap this morning. We saw an $18,000. we are currently seeing an $18,000 Bitcoin. Actually, this was around seventeen seven dollars uh, about an hour ago. What's up, Moses? Jay Rich, Crypto Not, good to see you all in here. Ethereum pumping to 1336. BNB not really moving. Is this due to some of the FUD that we've been seeing with BNB and Binance? Probably, most likely, although I put money onto Binance yes, uh, yesterday. I put money onto it. I have a little bit of Cardano that I keep on exchanges because my hardware wallet doesn't support it, and I'm, I'm the one that preaches getting it off. But if I were to lose it, if exchange went down, it wouldn't hurt me. But... I sent it over to Binance last night just to support them. Any way I could. It's not even a lot of money, but everybody's pulling their money off of Binance. I'm saying, hey, let's put money on there. Dogecoin, nine cents. Who owns Dogecoin, guys? I know this is a Volt stream. Who owns Dogecoin? Is anybody a Dogecoin holder? Or are you guys all Volted? Look at the comments going absolutely crazy. I love it. That's what I like to see on my Wednesday morning. Let's go. And guys, as Eddie says, smash that like and sub. What's up, Flying Dutchman? Bruce H180. Eddie T, my guy. Jay Smooth, Cindy. Fabe, what up? What up, Fabe? Fabe said, what up, Jake? What up, Fabe? Come on, son. Back to the stream, though. Polygon, Matic, Cardano, these different layer one blockchains, Polkadot, all remaining around that $6 billion, $8 billion, $10 billion market cap. Uh, we have Solana. We have Solana at $14.63. Shibinu still holding a $5 billion market cap. That's got to give us some uh, hope here in this altcoin, meme coin space. Obi-Wan Kenobi, shout out from Arizona. Arizona, I thought you were from the Death Star, sir. I thought you were from, I thought you were from somewhere in uh, Star Wars land. I guess he's from Arizona. What's up, my people? Don't fade Bionic Inu. Don't fade it, guys. I don't own any. I never will, but don't fade it. We don't fade anything. Although I faded Bionic <laughs> uh, to help it go, though. I hold a tiny bit of Doge. It was my first. Hey, there's nothing like your first, right, My Little Journey? Everybody could say that. Green latte, bullish, Jake? Oh, I wish I had a green tea latte. Guys, it is freezing in my office right now. It's 50 degrees outside, and there's no heaters in Southern California. There's no air conditioning or heaters, so I'm freezing right now. If I start shivering, if I go into frostbite, you know why. Although the cold is very, very good for you. Uh, namaste and big shout out from India. There you go, Tuhin. Namaste, my friend. Arizona looks like Tatooine. <laughs> All right, I, uh, I just sent the link to Pablo and Power. Hopefully we see these gentlemen joining us here pretty soon. Is Pablo sleeping, guys? I'm going to go raid uh, Pablo. 50, that's warm. Not when you're in California, my guy. Uh, and then let's see. Chainlink rounding us out at a $3 billion market cap. Cosmos, Adam, at a $2.8 billion. Monero. 2.6 billion, Stellar Luma, $2 billion market cap. That is where we're going. And Volt Inu currently sitting at an $82 million market cap. I'm not the best at technical analysis. I'm not going to fool to be, right? I'm not going to act like I'm the best, but I have looked at enough charts in my life to say that this chart looks pretty healthy and could potentially be ready for a next leg up, especially if the market uh, continues to move in this positive direction. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me make the screen big right now because we have our first special guest. he goes by the name of pablo crow but i'm not bringing him on here until we get 69 likes we have 39 likes we have 120 people already in here i can't bring him on he's a special guest i can't bring him on until we get 69 likes so guys smash that like button let's get up to 69 likes let's welcome in the first influencer of volt inu ever in history and one of the first investors probably one of the first hundred investors in volt inu Ever. We're going to bring him in at 69 likes. Marky Faz is liking about uh, laughing about that. It's just a good number, guys. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. It's just a good number. Colt is looking strong. Colt is looking strong. We love Colt. Still to this day, I've never sold a single Colt uh, token in my life. In my life. Never sold a, a single Colt token. Um, 
Maybe I missed the pump, but I'm bullish on it. I'm bullish on projects, guys. Volt and Colt, they rhyme. They have four letter words and I'm bullish on both of those. But let's bring in our first guest, Pablo Crow. We're at 60 likes. Honestly, we get to 75. We bring in both the, the dynamic duo, the dynamic duo, Power and Pablo. And guys, let me tell you what. This is the first time that Power is going to dox on at least my live stream. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This guy, I saw him on the NASDAQ interview. He's so well-spoken, good-looking guy. He's going to be on here. I don't know if I can show my face anymore. This guy's too good looking out there. 60, we're three legs away from bringing in the trinamic trio, Jake, Pablo, and Power, but better known as the dynamic duo. We got 69. Guys, fuck it. Run up the likes to 100. It's a vaulted live stream. Let's get this party started. My guys, Pablo and Power, how are we doing today? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, look who it is. Who is that guy? Who is that's, that guy? That's Come a on, fake, son. That, 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 that's a fake power. Fake. Fake. <laughs> Fake hey, no, 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 no. Come back. Let's see if I like this one better. Shout come out to Power. Back. Come back. Absolute power. legend. Back. Good to see you. Come back. Come back. We need you back, Power. We need you back to people. I'm right Whoa. here, man. <laughs> I like you that. Got hey. Camera shy. Camera shy. Very camera shy. How could you be how could you be camera shy on YouTube when you just did a NASDAQ interview that's all over the world? All over the world. It was different. I was forced into it. <laughs> that's true hey we believe in decentralization if you want to show your face you show your face if you don't you don't but you did just show your face here uh on yeah. the stream power how does it feel to be a uh i mean you were docs like people met you at events previously yeah, in New York. Yeah. how does it feel to be like a docs man though is it is it any different for you at all uh yeah it's a little scarier <laughs> yeah frightened <laughs> yeah it's uh it's an interesting uh Interesting world. I started Docs, right? And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I would do that any differently, you know, because people know everything about you and your family and we're all these different things, right? So it's it's a little bit interesting, but um, obviously, man, it's like you're doing good things in the space. So you have every right to Docs, right? And people people are happy to see you, right? Guys, put some electricity bolts in the comments if you're happy to see Power's face smiling on the NASDAQ interview. Uh, I know I am, man. So thank you guys for joining us today. Pablo, how's your morning going, man? Man, you know, it's always so early for Jake's show. Always yeah. so early, but you know sacrifices need to be made for such a great show. In yes, fact, in fact, this is by far my favorite show in all of YouTube. So really, um, I love your show, man. I'm a big fan. Thank you, man. I love this Vaulted Wednesday live stream show. Like it's it's probably my favorite uh, that we do. And I got to be careful because Rodney might be R Rodney. I love our crypto hours on Friday, but the Vaulted Wednesday <laughs> live stream show, guys, is my favorite because the community is in here so strong. There's always great updates. We're having a good time, and the market's actually looking very, very good. Let me pull this up. We were showing it around a little bit, but guys, we're we're approaching a 900 billion dollar market cap again today. Uh, obviously, we got some good CPI numbers yesterday. Uh, some good numbers in regards to inflation and the rates. And then FTX was arrested. And I felt like the momentum kind of shifted after SBF was arrested, right? It's like, we just saw this, everything was so bad, so bad, so bad. And look, I, I don't ever root for anybody to go to prison, right? Like and rot their life away in prison. But I just feel like it, it kind of restored some faith. And, and it shows that we still have a justice system and scammers can't just get away with everything. Did you guys feel the same? It, it was good, man. It was good. It, it gave a lot of people peace of mind. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want people to, you know, have some trust in crypto. And, you know, if, the, if, if justice has to get involved once in a while, then it's good, man. It's good for it. Absolutely. Power, what are your thoughts on all the recent situations, too? And then we're going to head into all the new updates with Volt. But what are your thoughts with everything? I mean, SPF getting arrested. Do you think it's good for crypto, bad for crypto? Do you not really care? How are you feeling about everything? Uh, I'm like in the uh, neutral zone. I don't really care, really. You know, if it... Because... It's going to happen again. So, I mean, this is not the first time. I mean, this and uh, this won't be the last time. Um, this sort of thing has took place in the past, and yeah. it's going to continue to happen. It happens every bear market. Every bear market, <laughs> correct. <laughs> every bear market it happens. Yeah. Every bear market. What you it know? is, it's like you think of like when everything is pumping and everybody's making money. There's no discipline. yeah. There's Nobody's no talking about it, and it's happening you know? then. It, it, uh, tell you the truth, man, um, Pablo, uh, it, it uh, usually happens in the bull market as well. People aren't, I mean, people aren't worried about it because everybody's making millions and millions and, uh, and uh, millions of dollars. So they're not concerned about it. Matter of fact, uh, um, SPF has been doing this for the longest. Matter of fact, he did the same thing in the last bull market, 2021. He, he did the yeah. same thing. Just that nobody, I mean, like, it wasn't, mac, uh, I mean, like, uh, it was like on a micro level. Just because 
The market is up. Bitcoin is at 69,000. Everybody's excited. Yeah. Everybody's making millions of dollars. I don't give a damn. If gate.io sends 400 million dollars over care. here, who cares? Send it. Send it, sir. Send yeah, it. Send it. <laughs> as, long as, as long as my bag has seven figures, I don't Correct. care what's going on. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we, we so. saw that quite a bit. That you know, it's just yeah. the crypto space, but I think it it it's gonna help the everyday investors. Like when I went home for Thanksgiving, so many people that don't even own crypto were like, What's happening with FTX and SBF? And like they're they're talking about crypto. Now now they're seeing the news saying, oh, this guy's going yeah. to prison. We don't know how long, but they're the first sentencing, uh, the charges that came out, the equivalent sentences are about 165 years. Is he going to get more? Is he going to get less? Really? That will be, yeah, that's Jeez. that's that's the first, if you add up, like he had conspiracy to commit wire fraud, he had wire fraud. He had conspiracy to commit uh, money laundering, he had money laundering. He had, cons like, they literally brought the house down on him. And I'll find it while we're on the stream and pull it up a little bit. Uh, but I think it's just going to, one, it's going to deter scammers from doing what they're doing, right? Which brings accountability. Like the next exchange is going to be like, oh shit, I probably shouldn't use customer funds because this guy's going to prison for life. And then also, I think it's going to be good for the everyday retail investors. At least they're talking about crypto now. And now they see that justice is served. Hopefully it says, mm -hmm. oh, well, maybe crypto isn't as full of scammers as we thought, or at least there's like some punishment for it. So I think it's going to be good for crypto in the long run. And we're seeing yeah. the markets react. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's adoption. That's the main thing is adoption. It is. Whether, like yesterday, I went Christmas shopping, you know what I mean? And I, I, everywhere I go, you, you, you want to get a credit card for Macy's, for dealers? No, I'm paying in crypto. And they just look at me sideways. What do you mean you're paying in crypto? Yeah, I'm paying in crypto. Here's my crow car. Charge me. You wow. know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So I went to this one store and I spent like 900 bucks at this one store. And, and the lady's like, man, like, what do you do for work? I was like, I, I don't do anything. I'm actually unemployed. <laughs> and she's like what <laughs> she's like you're spending all this money in christmas and you're unemployed i was like no i i trade crypto i invest in crypto it's, it's all i do that's my life that's how i make a living i actually retire a year and a half ago and the lady's in her 60s she's just blown away like how is this possible i was like and she's like it's all in bitcoin and i was like no 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 there's so many more projects there's one called volt that was my favorite <laughs> check that one out did you get her bolted <laughs> Oh yeah, she uh, she wrote down my YouTube and everything. Nice. So she's gonna be watching. It's yeah. uh, it's rather easy to get people vaulted. Like we, I don't know if you guys have seen the the new, uh, not new guy, but uh, a new Volt YouTuber, Ben Ben Crypto. He's been talking about Volt. Yeah. All dude, yeah. all we did, we were in Miami, and he was just like, oh, we met him. He came to lunch with us, and we were just talking about projects. And I was like, what projects do you talk about? He let me know the projects. He's like, what about you guys? I'm like, look. And he asked me and Ronnie he goes, well, who do you think is the strongest community in crypto? And I was like, or DeFi. I said Volt. And he's like, really? He made the first video. I think his Twitter had like less than a thousand followers. He's already well over that. The first he had a, he had less than a thousand followers. The first video he posted on Twitter had like three hundred retweets from the Volt Army. And he's just yeah. like, now he's now he's a Volt YouTuber. Yesterday I had a mirror on a stream. We were just talking crypto. It's my good buddy. The Volt Army came, raided our chats afterwards. He's he, he was already looking at Volt. He's like, I'm gonna get a bag of Volt. Like it's like it's it's just that. It's the organic grassroots growth that we're seeing with Volt Inu is why it's so special, right? It's why it's having the effect it's having because it's like, dude, who doesn't want to connect with positive people on a daily basis? Everyone does. I it's, agree, man. It's a way of life, man. It's a way of life. Think about it. You, the, the whole mar crypto market has been in the red for God, like 15 months now. You know? 15 months we've been on a downtrend. You know, I feel like we finally hit the floor, but I'm not going to be the one to say this is the exact floor. <laughs> <laughs> be roots it. Be roots it, baby. Not too many times saying that one. Huh? Ooh, man, that's, that's scary. Every time you think it's the floor, it's not yeah. the floor. You know, yeah. but like but one thing's for sure, though, like it, it feels like we already hit the floor and it feels like we're going up in, in a nice direction. I mean, we're sitting at 18,000 in Bitcoin. You know, I could see a 20K on the 20th, you know, in my opinion, but. Just a guess. This uh, this rate is just a guess. I think this is the uptrend. Um, just because of the uh, um, CPI results, um, the inflation rates are starting to plummet, or they're starting to come come down again. Yep. Um, so I see the market uh, starting to uh, regulate itself. I would say by 2024, um, would be the actual bull market. Just a prediction, guys. Hypothetical. I think it's. I think it. Nah, I think it's pretty accurate, right? Like the Bitcoin yeah. happening is coming, uh, and and realistically, like if you just, it's so simple. Like everybody gets so upset in these bear markets, but just look at the charts, right? Every three years we go up, every one year we go down. Every right. three years we go up, 
every one year we go down every it's for the last over a decade that's what that's what's been happening so 2021 we went down and it, it's like the bull market if you believe the bottom is in the bull market starts now right it's not going to go to 69,000 or 100,000 today but the prices no. slowly go up starting now like so the bull market essentially starts when the bottom is in it just takes three years uh to go up now Let's transition to Volt. We we showed the charts earlier. Uh, currently sitting at an eighty two point six two six million dollar market cap. Looking at this chart, guys, looks very 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 healthy. It looks like we're ready for another leg up. You want um, you want to you want to see another another awesome chart? You yes, I do. Awesome? Go to my Twitter. I have it pinned. This is a a twelve month chart for Volt. Twelve month. Twelve month. Whoa. You've yeah, been recording. Savage <clears throat> Savage. One of the guys in the in the in the admins group made it. It's for, it shows G1 Shout and V2, man. Pull it up. Blow it up. Right here. Look at that. Okay, so 12-month volt chart, V1 and V2 combined. Oh, he combined it. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to see the next 12 months in a way better market. So we started here December Whoa. 19th. Yeah. Uh, the migration happened. The migration was right here, April 16th. It yep. pumped to oblivion. Yep. Yeah, dude, this migration day was absolutely insane i was in tulum i was in mexico and i was doing a twitter space we had like 500 people in the twitter space too it was the first time i ever hosted a twitter space we had bleaves on there i don't know if you guys were on there or not uh, i remember i think jazz royce was on there we had legal alien he was playing the pump it up music and bro this thing in front of our eyes went from like a 30 million market cap to a 250 million and yeah. i was just like what the hell is going on but i think Crypto was pretty dead at that time, April. Like there was, it was we were heading towards a bear market. We were already in one, uh, and people wanted to, to make money, and so people were just putting money in, and that's why you saw just everyday investors. I mean, like the buys coming in were insane. The price obviously dipped down a little bit, but yeah, this is a healthy chart if you ask me. Very, very healthy chart. Very healthy chart. That was before the Daquan situation. Um, yeah, I think before if the Luna situation never happened, yeah. uh, we yeah. probably won't be in the situation that we are in right now. Um, yeah, it was before. before. It'll probably still be sitting around. Thirty-three, thirty thousand dollars, but when that when that thing took place, man, Bitcoin dipped all the way down to sixteen k. So yeah, when we came yeah. down with it. But, yeah, but let's, let's be realistic on the show, Jake. Have you? Is there a twelve month chart this year that looks like this? Um, no, right? Like, I mean, dude, I could. Should we pull out some other twelve month charts? Go ahead, no. Man. <laughs> I don't want, want, want to. I don't want to. Flatline, <laughs> bro. No, because the, the other charts here. This is what. I, this is what I'll tell you. The other chart. Right. If you just rotate this ninety degrees, they go like this. Most charts go like this, right? Everybody see my mouse? That's what they yeah. do. I don't want to. I don't want to wreck any communities here. But it's like just you, you can you can do it. Just go look at the other ones. But that's that's the benefit of starting in a in a bear market. Which it's not even a benefit though. Like ninety nine percent of the projects that started in a bear market, they failed. They, but for Inu. Yeah is is an exception like it, it oh. just probably caught on it's just so marketable it's so trendy it has a great community has great influencers it has a great developer just hey it's the one that's stuck right it's just it yeah. just they did it different they did it different yeah do you believe that the this chart looks like this because the fact that we are exchanges hungry they were always adding exchanges yeah you think, that, you think that's why because a lot of people like to argue that that statement that you know we don't need that many exchanges. What what's your opinion, Jake? What's your opinion on that? I mean, you see you seen the the market for for years. Yeah, you know what what, what hits and what doesn't hit. I've you I've think never doing it right. I have never once in my life. I've always stuck true to this statement. Right, some things I'll go back and forth on. Since my content has begun, I have always said this. I'm a firm believer in the exchange effect. The more exchanges a token gets listed on, the more people that can buy it. Pablo Power and people in this chat, we can use Uniswap. We know how to use VoltiChange, right? It's very simple for us. We take our ETH from an exchange. We send it into Uniswap or VoltiChange. We make our transact. We put the contract, uh, contract address in. We make our transaction. It's very simple for us, right? But for other people, like my mother or someone's friend or anybody that's never used Coinbase, it's so difficult to teach them how to use Uniswap. So I, and and think about it, exchanges are in different areas, right? Like you can't use Binance in the US, you have to use Binance US. Uh, you couldn't use, you can't use a lot of exchanges in New York, you have to use certain different exchanges. So that's, exchanges are very local uh, throughout the world. There's Brazilian exchanges, there's Mexico exchanges, there are Australian exchanges, there's Indian exchanges. So when you get into these different niches, you're opening up uh, these different markets for people to buy your, your cryptocurrency projects. And on top of that, another reason this chart looks like this is because it's news. 
it's all news, right? Like all of these, I've been saying that from the beginning with Bolt. Like I would make a video about a, a, a bus and people are like, Jake, why are you making a video about a bus? I'm like, guys, because these small wins are massive long-term, right? Like Voltoshi and the team have just been laying these small bricks and soon they're going to build a palace. So the exchanges are not only good because people can purchase crypto, can purchase Volt on these exchanges that are local to their regions, but also because it's news. And I think that's what's really driven the Volt marketing machine is just daily, daily news. Rodney says it all the time. He's like, dude, who the hell runs their Twitter? Like five times a day, they have major updates. And I think yeah. just, there's so many things I think we need to do. We can talk, there's just so many things that have been done right, which is why the chart looks like this during a bear market. You know, um, wanna, uh, wanted to, uh, reiterate the uh, exchanges. Yeah. Um, first of all, exchanges are also holders. They are also investors, not just investors. Yes. But they are institutional investors. And and uh and and we can look at some of the projects that came out during the bull market that did not list on tier one exchanges. And you can see what happened to their projects. Uh, I'm not gonna mention any names, um, but there were three uh, there were three Pacific projects that that went to the billions and didn't hold the billions just because they didn't have those uh, institutions buying their product because they didn't listen to those tier one exchanges. So, again, uh, we have to understand that as well is the fact that, hey, having uh, having that crypto dot com, Coinbase, yeah. Binance, especially Binance, um, et cetera, um, is going to give you that um, additive or uh, extra um, liquidity. So well, <clears throat> you look at it, for example, right now, like, like how often do you, does anybody buy Cardano on DeFi nowadays? You know, Nobody, I mean? no one. How often, how often does somebody buy, uh, you know, you know, certain projects like, uh, like, like Polygon on, Even uh, Bitcoin. on, on Uni, uh, Uniswap, you know, I mean, think about it. Think about the real volume, the real volume for Polygon's coming in Binance, you know, it's coming right. in, in Coinbase, it's coming in in these uh, multi-million, uh, you know, holders uh, exchanges. It ain't coming in Uniswap. Like the volume sucks in Uniswap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You buy it on the major exchanges. Honestly, those tokens. Like, let's say when I was buying Solana, uh, Cardano, and Polkadot and Bitcoin and ETH, like I would buy it on exchanges. I would, yeah. I would purchase it especially Binance, like Binance for Bitcoin ETH, there was $0 trading fees. I'm buying it there, right? So you buy it on these exchanges. That's why I'm, anyone that says exchanges aren't utility, they 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 have no idea what they're talking about, you know? Like, okay, like, like, like for instance, man, no idea. Um, people was dogging Coinbase, but Coinbase um, at the all time high, uh, owned close to uh, what, $150 billion worth of, worth of Bitcoin. Uh, and right now they own thirty eight billion dollars worth yeah. of Bitcoin. So, <laughs> dope, so I mean that <laughs> that's, so that's the main holder. That's act, I mean, I mean, like that's the main investor that's actually holding up Bitcoin right now. I mean, yeah. so we, you know, so we got to take that into great consideration as well. Is the fact that these are holders? Yeah, so you, the exchanges are holders. They, you, you, you know? Sorry, sorry to cut you off. You said it on the uh, the Thanksgiving stream, right? I think we did a stream the day before Thanksgiving. You're like, yo, we need to protect these exchanges. Like without these exchanges, we go down. And I was like, shit, you're right. We need to protect the good ones though, right? Like FTX, fuck that guy. Correct, like, he, correct. He deserves correct, what but Coinbase, I mean. Finance, yeah. the guys that are like working to better the space because no one in this, I mean, not many people realize this, but if Coinbase or Binance goes down, we all go down. Like your we crypto is worth zero. Yeah, yeah we we're all finished. Die. We're done. Done. Dude, done. I, I had a we're guy. I had a guy ask me, "Can I should I should I get my 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 uh my money out of Binance and move it into DeFi? Because I think Binance is about to die." And I was like, "Dude, it don't matter where you put your crypto, bro. If Binance die, you still crypto, die. Your crypto is <laughs> gonna be worthless. It's gonna be worthless." Yeah, it's it's true. That's why I put uh, I transferred Cardano onto Binance. I, like I don't know if it helps at all, but I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna do my small part. Everything's in my hardware wallet." But I was like, "I'm just gonna put some money on there." Everybody's taking out billions of dollars. Let's just put some on there. It's it's because I, I do believe in Binance. I think they're trying to do some good stuff. Now, we we saw recently, Full Inu, trending on Twitter Whoa. over thirty one thousand posts. Thirty one. 
thousand posts on Twitter. I think it was Twitter. forty something thousand um, last That's week, right? Last week. Yeah, I mean, this is just a, a screenshot from Ian Heinrich. Shout out to Ian Heinrich, like more than Vince McMahon, who's the uh, founder of WWE. At least he was the president. Uh, but Volt Inu trending on Twitter. We saw Volt Inu get listed on its ninety eighth exchange yesterday. We saw Volt Inu get listed on its ninety ninth exchange today. And my guy Pablo put out a video. Let's go ahead and watch this video here. I got to uh, turn the sound on. And I, I want to clear the, the air. I messed up on my count. We're still at 99, guys. I thought we were at 100, but we're still at 99. You say that in the video? No, I, I, I you made I, a mistake I, in the video. No, ah. no, not, not in the video. I made a mistake after the video. The video. Okay. Right. okay. The video is <laughs> right. Look at the video. The video is right. The video is right. Play the video. It's Pablo Crow. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but Volt got listed on his 99 exchange today called CEX Trade. Man, that's just bullish. It just doesn't stop. Voltoshi said, before the year ends, you will have 100 exchanges. Which I faded. I said, I literally I texted him. I'm like, there's no way, dude. We were on 30 exchanges six months ago. Now we're on 99. That's insane. What will be the 100th? The, um, the hundred. We're talking about that. That's the that's the question. Hey, We're talking all, about in the room. all I can say is that China is bullish. China, China, hey, China, China. As Trump <laughs> says, China, China is. Bullish. They know what I'm talking about. China. <laughs> I don't know yet, but we're we're gonna talk about that. We're talking about that. Hold on. Back in man, when was it? May, April, May, something like that. And here he is delivering as promised. And our guy Voltoshi's in the chat too. Look at this. He said 100K next week for the anniversary. Volted. Let's go, Voltoshi. Come on, baby. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Goddamn, Voltoshi. is going to have some upcoming upgrades, which I can't wait for to see those. And some new partnerships going on and things are happening. And just the way he's moving, man. Just the way that Voltoshi is moving to show you that, that a non docs developer is more trustworthy nowadays somebody that that just works somebody that doesn't have time for a freaking amas 24 7 or or being recorded on tv all the time well toshi he just works man he just works like me for example i'm out shopping for christmas you know buying some gifts for the wife and, and i'm still working i'm still working even though I'm, you know, doing my everyday life or whatever's going on, we we carry on. We never stop. And that's something that a lot of influencers don't do for a project. They, do it. they just, you know, drop a tweet, drop a, a video once in a while or say something. But, you know, to, to fully dedicate themselves to a project is something that just doesn't happen very often. So True. if you see an influencer that's 100% for their project and really cares about it, you know, give them a big shout out because that right there is... It's something to be, you know, to be proud of. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. 99 Exchange, baby. Let's go. Oh, Pablo. And as nice. you can see, guys, we have uh, Voltoshi in the chat. He just said 100th Exchange got signed today. So that you are no longer wrong. Pablo, 100th uh, Exchange hey, listing. What's up, Voltoshi? How you doing, baby? Shout out <laughs> to Voltoshi. Hey, Power is, is one of the ones we know, Power. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Is it one or is it two? That's the that's the question. I don't know. I don't know. You he never put, know with Boltoshi. He put out this tweet, guys, uh earlier. And look, I after especially after what happened with the Lily Finance thing, I don't know if you guys saw, but they're like, We're getting listed on Coinbase. Like, I'll I'll never speculate and say like Volt's getting listed on this. Here. Yeah, we don't do that. Like, and Voltoshi has never done that. He's literally just allow, allow, allowed them to announce it first. And, and you know, I shit on Lily Finance a lot. So I'm like, I have to make sure that I don't, I'm, I'm a man of my word, right? I don't go back. I, I don't say one thing and do the other right one. But I will say this. I've been covering this token since February. You guys have been in it longer than I have. And uh, usually when Voltoshi tweets, there's some hidden messaging behind it, right? Like, uh, uh, there, it's subliminal in some points, right? Like he he mm -hmm. did the gate that IO like Volt head and gate that IO got listed, right? So he tweeted this. He said the last eleven months have been full of catalysts, but the best is yet to come. E.g., only one of the top ten exchanges has been vaulted so far. So for me, someone that's been covering this token, I'll never say, guys, we're getting listed on Coinbase. But I will say this: I feel like a hundred is a big number, right? Like twenty five is 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 a big number. Number mm -hmm. one is probably your biggest, your your first exchange, which I think it was Shiba Swap, right? Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong there. 
as well. 25 is big. 50 is huge. 50 is huge. 75 is a big catalyst, but like number 100 is the biggest. He put this tweet out for me personally. I have no connections to Voltoshi. I have no idea what this exchange listing is going to be. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be something in the in the top uh, the top 10. Like why else would he put this? Well, you can right? go after the uh, um, after the uh, cryptic message um, that he left uh, when he had uh, when he had the top eight tier one exchanges. So so from there on until February or March, um, I think we're going to be you know, getting listed from those tier ones, from those top 10 tier ones, like he said, in wow. the uh, cryptic message. Um, what was the cryptic it? message? I, did I miss that? Yeah, you, miss you, yeah, I think you probably did. Do you want to Do you want to see if you can pull it up? Yeah, probably. is it on the Twitter? Know. Yeah, it's on Twitter. All right, we're going to find it on Twitter. That's the cryptic uh, message. Oh, there's Gilbert Burns. We'll talk about him in a second. It was last week. Last uh, week. Before the uh, Polo Nex listing. Oh, Dude, okay. and this will actually be good because like let's just show because rodney always talks about it. it's like bro hey there's the gentleman right there look at that okay. uh rodney's always like bro who runs the twitter they tweet so much so this will be a good example to show you how hard the devs are working on twitter uh alone Man, it's gonna take a while <laughs> good though that's <laughs> like this now this taking a while shows you like just the work that they're putting in right because go look at some other twitter pages dude there's some there's some tokens that haven't tweeted in weeks and it's like how do you expect your community to still be there right there's How no connection with the community anymore. There's so, Gilbert Burns. Shout out Gilbert Burns. Brazil. I don't know what those Burns. projects are going to do in the bull run, man. There's, they're going to come back. They're going to try to get new investors, but it's yeah. like, yeah. We're going to talk about this as well. Modern Day Warrior. Big time. I'm Netflix getting bolted. That. Let me uh, open that up. Uh, so we're going to see exactly... How vaulted they think I am? How vaulted I really am? Like it's just memeable, bro. You you need a dev like this. This is what plays. It's like that Elon Musk meme ability. You know, it's like yeah. it's, it's what plays in this space. Uh, so let's see. I the think you're almost there. Right. You're almost the vault there. of Wall Street. Ian Heinich knocking some dudes out. We'd love to see that. Uh, he, he might actually. Is he's he almost there, um, Pablo? <laughs> I, don't Pablo? Know. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're gonna remember have... the cryptic message. Which one? We had like all the tier ones. Oh, yeah. You remember no. the one I'm talking about? We're man? on uh, December 9th. December 9th. Keep, yeah, keep keep going. You're almost there. It's December 14th. That was a funny video. Live about. That was a hell of a funny went, video. Yeah, you With went live with problem. <laughs> was I, I talking about? Remember. Probably so many, so much stuff, man. Dude, I, rivals? I remember making coffee this morning. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the hey, you're almost there. Screen. That was good. You're almost there. Look at yeah, Rodney. Going, Look at Rodney. Rodney. Rodney's all vaulted. Look at him. What if? <laughs> My guy, Rodney. He was fading vault beginning. Now he's vaulted. Dude, it, it runs through his veins now, bro. He's doing like, He's so he, vaulted. He can't get rid of it. You imagine. Oh, uh, you imagine is that hold it? on. Look, Voltoshi's she's commenting. He said, I saw something interesting on that list you showed, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get what? back to it. <laughs> hold on. Damn. Man. You're almost oh, there. December DeMarco. What's he doing in Vegas? December DeMarco's having a good time, yeah. man. Yeah, he's, he's enjoying he's life. He ain't <laughs> call me for that. How you going to call me? He's rich and, and, and funny, bro. All at the same Wealthy time. Wealthy and enjoying life. Okay, man. so we got the Polonia X. Yep, you're almost there. There's the gentleman again. There's us Please. again. Look Someone at that. Jake, he vaulted. She's comment. I did. I thought I just read it. Or was there another comment? There's Ben. He got vaulted. Go, Ben. Chaka. The message is almost like there. That. You're almost there. Almost there. God damn. This just shows you how much they tweet, though. I'm glad we did this. They Jeez. tweet like Vitoshi tweets all day long, man. It's insane. There's Polo in the X again. <laughs> There's Polo in the X again. <laughs> He's always there. Man, there's some elotes. There it is. Oh, there, there, it is. Go back oh, up. there you Remember go. That? Remember yeah. that? I don't so even really, good. I got to read it again. There's so much news. Let's read it here. Uh, let's see. As the saying goes, good things take time, but it seems that some people decided it was time. Yes, we got some people leaving over the last few days. I'm not blind, but rather than looking at where they went, where did they come from? I was looking at some other top project holders. What I saw is Binance, Crypto.com, OKX, QCoin, Coinbase, Quobi, Poloniex, which just got vaulted, Bybit, Kraken, et cetera, holding from 3 to 10% of their supply. Then I looked at our holders, especially the Uniswap pool holding only 2% of the supply. So what does this tell you? All I'm no, seeing, all I'm seeing, is that just one of these names joining the party might create a vaulted supply shock. And guess what? The majority of the above names are already watching Volt, to say the least. To be completely honest with you, I'm going to tell you how vaulted my Monday was. 
<laughs> I love that. <laughs> One of the above names told me this morning they're ready to volt. If you don't get it yet, you might understand with the vaulted emergency by Voltoshi. And Poloniex, was that exchange? Financial advice. Poloniex yeah. was that exchange, yes. Exactly. So therefore, he's going to be picking from that list. Really? Look at that, Look at that list. list. That's what he's Look. saying. Look at that list, bro. Look at the list. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of those. No, oh, no. no, they're all tier it. ones. They're all they're all the biggest in the in the space. They're all tier ones, yeah. all tier ones, all of them. Now, uh, did I miss Voltoshi's comment or did I pull it up? People in the chat said, "Jake, look at this." Why people stop yelling at me, man? I'm just kidding. Jake, uh, read Voltoshi. Where, where is it? it? I saw. Go something. back. Is, to... is this the one or is there another one? No, no, no. It's, There's another uh, comment. Yeah. I'm scrolling. Where is uh, it? That's it right did, there. That's he, just the said this though. he just said, you didn't know about that one, Pablo, but I would say maybe bigger. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> well, Toshi's in the chat. Yeah. Well, Toshi's in the chat. And then, he, so he said this first, and then he said uh, that he noticed something on the list. Let's it was the last one that you pulled up. It was the first one that you pulled the up. The list. Earlier. I'm going to yeah. pull up his comment. Yeah, I saw something interesting on that list you showed. Was it EG? Look, was, it, at, was it E and a G? I don't uh, know. It's, it's Coin Gecko for sure, bro. It's Coin Gecko. Coin Gecko. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what would the what? EG mean? EG? I don't know what EG means. EG means like, for example, it, it, but it it stands for something else. It's like, hey, for example, what does EG mean? Who who in chat smarter than us three? EG meaning it says I'll, only I'll one here. of it the means top for example has been voted so far. Yeah, we yeah we know that already. That's but that's we, so Voltoshi. He just put the comment up. He said, I saw something interesting on the list you showed, Jay. Guys, who sees something interesting here? I feel like he's saying uh, cryptically that one of these exchanges are going to get absolutely oh, vaulted. Oh, I see it. We 11, already know Gate.io is vaulted. 11 is Bit, to 12 months. Bitstamp, Qcoin, Kraken, Coinbase, Binance. If I had a guess, guys, and like I said, this is not speculation. Like I'm not saying we're getting listed on Coinbase like some other uh, tokens do. But I would say Kraken, Qcoin, Bitstamp, Bitfinex, Gate.io is already vaulted, OKX, and Bybit. So we just narrowed it down to yeah. six. To I agree with six. that. Because <laughs> Binance US is tough. Coinbase is, is very tough. Uh, unless you're literally finance, they get they get they get on there. Uh, Binance, and then we already vaulted <laughs> Gate.io. <laughs> Sorry, I got to throw shit at them because oh, they, they wreck a lot of people. Oh, man. damn. I can't believe that. I still can't insane. believe it, man. I still can't believe it. Insane, dude. It just it makes you it makes you more comfortable investing into like a, a project like this, right? Like a, a project like this that that waits and does it correctly. Like Voltoshi would never sit there and say, Hey, dude. we're getting this in on Coinbase on, on January 3rd. It's like he would never do that. He waits for the exchanges to make the announcement and then he uh, he he, he posts about it, right? So well, let's think about it like this, guys, for everybody that's watching right now. Okay. An exchange is an investor. OK, you're an investor. Would you want to buy after everybody else's buys or would you want to buy before the pump? Obviously, before the pump. Right. So why would the exchange want the project to pump and they why would they want to buy the top? Why? It makes no sense. Right. Exactly. You so it, if it doesn't make any logical sense. How can it be real? I'm Think looking about at that. this. <clears throat> I'm looking at this comment here. We got some cryptic messages. Bitcoin, the symbol contains EG. Amar, I, I see a K and a C. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell does he see? Or Q, I see a K, but no, you could see like a, a pretty crazy E. And then you could I mean, see like a, a I mean, like, that's kind of reaching for me. Yeah, no, that's uh, a K what, and a C. That's, that's a, a K, K for Q coin. What does the chat think, guys? I'm going to scroll this out. Let me know who you think it is. You get one guess. Amar, my people said buy bit. You get one guess. Who do you think it's going to be? Uh, if it is, and look, we don't even know if it's one of these. I, I don't, right? I don't know if it's one of these. Uh, Voltoshi just is, is saying, hey, I see something interesting on that page. It leads me to believe that it's going to be one of these. Who do you guys think it's going to be? Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Qcoin, Bitstamp, Bitfinex, Gate, OKX, Bybit, and Binance US. And that's how we work, guys. We work off of facts on the show. He just said, hey, the 100th listing was signed today. He put this up. And and if it, if you think it's going to be something different, like I didn't see crypto.com on this list. If you think it's going to be crypto.com, feel free to put crypto.com. Hey, man, comments, right? I'll die if it's crypto.com. I'll die. He says institutions love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gemini, is it Gemini, sir? Is it Gemini? Oh my Gemini. God. Is it that one? Is Holy crap. If it's Gemini, it's over. Warming up the Damn. chest for that one. Institutions love it. 
Institutions love it. It has to be Gemini, man. Why? Calm your ass down. Well, it's not Gemini. Because Gemini? okay, because uh, okay, because <laughs> Gemini is known, um, uh, like a lot of institutions um love to uh stake their crypto over there just because uh they have a fifty million dollar limit. Yeah. Yeah, yep. but also on that note, Gemini uh has exposure to Genesis, which is in debt one point nine billion dollars. So their earn program is now locked. Everybody's locked out of Gemini. So oh, they are. Yeah, I have, dude, I have a buddy that because of FTX. So Gemini has Gemini Earn, right? And Gemini yeah. Earn doesn't Gemini doesn't doesn't own any of that. Genesis does the lending for Gemini Earn. It's their partners, right? But Genesis has one point nine billion dollars of exposure to FTX. So Gemini's fine; they hold assets one to one. But their Earn program is now locked. My buddy has three hundred thousand dollars locked out on Gemini uh, right now crazy. just because of FTX. Hey, tell them to hold it. That's going to turn into a multi-million. Damn yeah, right. Hold it. Don't worry about it. Don't, <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, it's, 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 the bull it's, market is going to sky high. It's going to skyrocket in the bull market. He can't touch it. It's, he has no choice. It's Honestly, it's it's lost money. It's, it shows it's there, but he can't withdraw it or not. So I don't know. It might come back. Uh, shout out to Boss, Boss Fam TV. He said, love you, the Volt family. Appreciate all the work you guys do for the family. Love you, Voltoshi. El Papa de los Politos. Pablo, translate for me, please. The father of the little chickens. <laughs> okay. Voltoshi is the father of the little chickens. Uh, everybody's saying Gemini. Uh, what about Q-Coin, Bifinex? Bifinex. Coinbase. Institutions love Coinbase, and Coinbase Exchange has an EG in it. I personally don't think it's going to be Coinbase just because. No. I mean, they are, but they are listing a lot of tokens. Like, they are listing tokens right now, but just, yeah. I don't know, the Lily Finance thing. I don't want to well, even talk about Coinbase. Well, it's like, think about Coinbase, right? Coinbase is, in my it, opinion, yeah. And the, the most powerful exchange, in my opinion, you know what I mean. Everybody can debate it all they want, but Coinbase oh, oh, out, Bitcoin. So yeah, <clears throat> Coinbase has been out since two thousand what thirteen, like uh, yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. So you think about Coinbase, man. They've been out for ten freaking years plus. Like, it's a powerhouse. The connections are infinite when it comes to crypto. So to get listed on Coinbase, you got to have a certain level in your project not only a certain level but you got to have connections real connections not some made up connection that you found on tiktok you know what i mean real connections and you got to have a backer a backer has to have 10 plus million dollars in fiat money saying that they will support your project regardless what happens see and how do we know this how do power and i know this well because voltochi has been coaching us so what does that tell you that tells you that Voltoshi is constantly talking to Coinbase. Yeah, he's in contact. Yeah, and uh, that's a that's a big one. That's a huge listing. Binance is, I mean, the volume of Binance. Binance right? need about uh, 150 to 200 k holders. Phew. That's, that's insane. Insane. Yeah, that's the uh, straight yeah. candle, sir. Straight candle for like 30 days. Someone's asking. Most people uh, don't know that, though. Most people don't know that because they're not behind the scenes. They're not communicating. But yeah, you need at least 150. The 200k holders um to qualify for binance and that's yep. fact insane that's insane uh someone asked me if we are we already on bit oh uh, no not yet not yet. not yet yeah i didn't think i think uh, the only okay. one we're on here is the uh the gate that but i'll tell you what if it's any of these exchanges it's gonna be big they're all in the top 10 that's insane yeah. like they're oh, all yeah. they're, they're literally in the top 10 based on exchange score and i know some volumes like bitfinex is lower than others gate.io but they're all doing hundreds bitfinex of millions has been of around the longest though they've been around I'm, since since uh, 2011. I'm kind of upset crypto.com is not showing up on the top 10, man. That, I, that, that hurts my feelings. You know what I mean? Because we all know crypto.com should be up there hanging yeah, out. Yeah, that's a fallacy. Yeah, they're that's good. A they're a great, great you know, exchange. And their yeah, CEO great. is, dude, their CEO is, is doing uh, incredible stuff. You know, he's getting so much fun. And he's just, he's, he's doing very well with the fun. I don't know if you guys saw this yet. Mm -hmm. Chris. B the Bloomberg article. What is it? What is the this? first time I've seen this? What Bloomberg, is it? yeah, I think that tweet came out earlier today. The voltage is meant to be spread. Bloomberg article, uh, they posted this. Volt Inu goes live on Polynex and announces a new exciting sponsorship. This was uh, yesterday at 5.30 a.m. PST. They talk about the Poloniex. Poloniex. How do you guys pronounce it? Poloniex? Poloniex. Yeah. Poloniex. Uh, the 96 exchange. We're at 99 now. This looks like a, I like this. It's like a, uh, a typewriter. And then the modern day warrior sponsorship. Dude, I can't wait to see that. Jesse Arnett, his fight in uh, the UAE where he won the title. He's going to go live on either Netflix, Hulu, 
or Amazon Prime, which is big. But dude, Whoa. Bloomberg. So so Bloomberg is writing articles about Volt, and Nasdaq is doing intervals about Volt. Name one other token that's a started as a meme coin, which Volt Inu started as a meme coin. You should be proud of your roots. That has this type of exposure to real world publications and and just money. When I think of Bloomberg, I think of money. When I think of Nasdaq, I think of money. And like they're talking about Volt Inu. Do you see them talking about anybody else? You know, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. On that same article, it says that they have never seen a token get listed on this many exchanges in less than a year. Let's find out. Yeah. I mean, well, it's never been done before. I've literally looked through every single time. token. It's the, first, right. it's the first, first time. The only other token that has ever done this is uh, ApeCoin. But I don't believe that that was like they had so many connections before they went live. They were on Binance, Qcoin, Coinbase, Gate.io, Huobi, OKX. Like they, they literally went live on the same day. At the, they've been on around every for a whole year as well, though. I mean, they've yeah, been around they, since the bull market. They, yeah, but they've been around on. They went. They were live on every single chain. So I don't think that's a decentralized token. I think it's very centralized. Like those. Like they didn't. <laughs> they didn't start from the bottom like us at Volt. You know, like we started from the gutter and we made it here. Like they. That's well, like. Sir. Dude, Ape, Ape coin was like being born into or born into the royal family. You know, it's like yep. they, they were handed that shit. Volt, <laughs> Volt was born in the inner streets of Chicago. We fought, a, baby. <laughs> fought, fought and grinded every day. So many. I wonder how long, uh, how many hours Voltoshi spent on uh, Twitter, you know, just absolutely grinding. But Shiba Inu, people say, Jake, when I make videos like that, they're like, Jake, Shiba Inu was on 100 exchanges. I'm like, guys, oh, let's just pull it up just, just so everybody on, can uh, see. I think it got on 50. In the first year, yeah. yeah, I think it was about fifty. Yeah, and you can see right here because people people heard about Shib in I don't know. I got it really right. started making noise in April, right? This is when I bought in right here. April twenty third was the date. I got lucky, just community, kind of like how Volt showed me Volt. Shib, man, was you got there. in early, man. Dude, they man, were showing me Shib in early, and I put out a tweet. I said, if this tweet gets two hundred fifty likes, I'll buy I'll buy some Shib, and it like got like five hundred. I was like, fuck it, I'm in. But guys, this started back here in August, so from the time of August first until August 1st the next year, they were on like, yeah, like you said, 50 exchanges. So yep. Volt's yep. the first DeFi token in history. If all the haters, we're all the haters that are saying exchanges don't matter. Well, look what exchanges have done. And let me tell you this, the person that called me this week, they'll remain unnamed, but they called me, they said that they're, they're trying to change the marketing strategy of their token. Things aren't necessarily working out. Guess what they said, uh, Pablo? Uh, they're going to follow Volt uh, footsteps. Yes. He called me and he said, <laughs> we're going to do what Volt does. We're going to get influencers on board. We're going to get listed on exchanges. We're going to, you know, keep the marketing machine going. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that's it's easier know, than said and done. Tell you that for much. sure. For it's easier sure. than said and done. I well, mean, you really, I mean, um, I think this is me. I think we were just fortunate uh, to have a developer that has buying power. Um, yeah. You need buying power to be able to do what Fatoshi does on a regular basis, uh, to be able to afford each and every influencer, uh, to uh, be able to afford 99 centralized exchanges, um, uh, to uh, be able to afford to, uh, you know, uh, get an interview by NASDAQ. It, it costs money uh, yeah. and it's not cheap. So, you know, you, <laughs> I mean, you really have to be in it. Yep. Not only that, you have, to, if you have to have different purposes. That's you also, you also, you also got to find, you know, uh, a group of leaders that, yes. that, that, that have no price tag. Correct. You got to find a, a group of people that can be bought because there's been many projects. There's been many projects that have tried to bought me away from, from, from Volt. You know, they me. have offered me six plus figures Crazy know, to, say, to say, leave Volt and come support us a hundred percent. Forget Volt. And they offer me 100K plus. And I'm like, no, you can't buy Pablo Crow. I'm richer Crazy. than you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't buy me. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, but like you said, Power, it's like, it, it's so much easier said than done. Like the amount of hours that goes into building a project like this is, it's it's all day, every day. Like I, I honestly- Look at you, Jake. Look, look at you, Jake. I mean, you started in, you, you started in the beginning of February. Uh, I mean, um, I mean, doing videos and, 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 and reviews on Volt, Ten months, it's been bro. a long time. 10 months. Yeah, Ten it's, months, it, bro. it's been impressive. I, that's what I'm saying, dude. I've seen it from the start, right? Like, I've seen it, obviously, not to start like you guys, but pretty early. I think it was like 11 million market cap when they came into my stream. Yep. And I bought in around like 14 million. Uh, and I started covering every day around 14 million. But yeah, you know, it is the recipe, though. Like, you should take notes. And Voltoshi should be proud of that. He should say, hey. 
I've I've developed a recipe of how to be successful in the meme coin space, right? You, it's constant updates, dude. Even when there's not much to talk about, you find a way. It's the exchanges, it's the partnerships, it's getting the right people on board to talk about your project. It's I think something too that goes overlooked is like building a positive community. Like the community, bro, even when Volt went from 250 million to 30 million, people were still showing up. People were still believing. Like it, it's the trust too. You have to have that trust and not many, like look at what developers are doing in this space, right? Look what other developers are doing, bro. They're faking exchange Even listings. Money. Bro, it's, it's in like this guy since the beginning. And I'm not just saying this, like, and you guys could probably agree in the chat can agree. Like he's, he's executed every single thing he said he was going to do every yes. single thing. And we're not just saying that, like, that's, that's a fact. You know, there hasn't been one exchange listing. And even, I think we remember when we won the gate that IO listing mm -hmm. and they said that it was like rigged or something. Yeah. He went out and got listed on it too. It's like he's the dude spent the 300k and got listed. Who cares? The dude executes. He's an executor. If Voltoshi was around back in the the Viking days, he would be the lead executioner because he yes. just executes on a daily basis. I agree, yeah. man. He he be like brave heart, man. He'd be that guy. You know, he'd be I mean? the guy. They they bring him in. They they put like the the they shackle him up, and he's the guy with the the sword. Just shoo, he's an executioner because he executes. Yeah, man. Yeah. And look, I've been saying this since day one. We're we're gonna get listed on crypto.com until this day. I will not back down from that statement. 12 months later, and I'm still saying it, and I will continue to say it. We will get listed on crypto.com. I promise you. We it's will. inevitable. And something to note here, guys. You see how Pablo's not saying we're getting listed tomorrow. We're getting listed as the hundredth exchange to get to get buys in. Like he could be saying that, like, guys, we're gonna get listed on the on December 31st on crypto.com. Like that's what people in this space do. Mm -hmm. Pablo Power, keep it real, right? And it's like Voltoshi keeps it if real. If you ever see that done, guys, if you ever see that happen, run. Get far <laughs> yeah. away. Sell. I'm 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 yes. not trying to fund any projects. I'm just saying, all right. They, that is not how business is done. OK, no, no one go. No one states that they're going to get listed on a project and then they put a date out there. That's never. That's a no, no. Get away. Far away. Please. Look, yep. Look Please even don't be a victim of that. Even Polonia, Polonia X was very, very like, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't yes. do that. Like they were so strict. And what Boltoshi can say on his tweet on everything like they told him exactly what to say and when to say it okay yeah. now imagine what a binance or a coinbase is going to request you know what i mean like you cannot skip the process you cannot not not get ahead of those guys they, they're going to make an announcement on their website first they're going to let you announce it and then later on they're going to announce it on their twitter it's usually yeah. the steps that these top tier exchanges take so if it's not on their website guess what it's not happening Yes. Yeah. You got to be careful, man. Like, but you honestly do. Like I was covering that Lillian finance story closely. It's like, you never would think that someone would do that. Like fake a Coinbase listing in, in broad man. daylight. Like, and brother, they've been doing it last year though. Dogs, Do they were all they were going in the bull market, crazy. brother. Crazy. <laughs> Just bro. like we didn't notice because everybody was making money. We didn't notice it, but you, you, you had, you had projects uh, doing that in the bull market, man. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 wild, but you just you never would uh, think that. Now, in other news, guys, in Brazil, UFC 283, new sponsored fighter Gilbert Burns is fighting on the pay per view card, guys. It's pay per view. I'm going to be going in person. Power and Pablo, if you guys want to go, you're more than welcome Man. to come to Brazil. But he's going to be fighting. <laughs> I'm going to support him. He texted me. Gilbert was like, "Yo, trying to go to Brazil," and I'm like, "Dude, if Gilbert texts you to come support him." You're not going to not go, but he's going to be, dude, he's, he's a huge name. Here's the thing. He was supposed to fight a bigger name. Uh, Jeff Neal is, he's when ranked is like that? seventh or eighth, but What's dude, J January 21st, nobody wanted to fight Gilbert. He's that dude. He's, he's great. I'm telling you, he's crazy. He's, he's a, he's a black belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's got striking with the best of them. And he's got a different heart and, and mind in him. Like he's absolutely just a, a savage. So no one wanted to fight him. He was calling out everybody in the division. So he's fighting Jeff Neal. It's in Brazil. He'll probably be the third car the third fight right the main event co-main third third fight and uh I, I think he's gonna vault his guy in brazil and apparently when is this fight when is this fight january 21st january 21st ah yep. man i don't know <laughs> i'll be there so if you guys want to come i have so to boring. talk to the old lady first <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you guys want to come we'll be there volt army i'm not saying i can't go jake 
Yeah. <laughs> talk to the old lady. Talk to the old lady. Uh, yeah. I gotta talk to all of mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but... <laughs> this is how you die, Jake. Watch, I know, I'm kidding. Watch, I'm kidding. Watch. The, the Tesla's gonna have freaking keychain marks everywhere now. No, 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 no. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. If you're watching this, baby, if you're watching this, you're my one and only. There you, you know, go. I love you. There you uh, go. You don't want no brick on that window, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't. I woke Tesla up bullshit. one time. I woke up one time, Jake, and all my windows were smashed with a hammer. And Jeez. they left and they left the hammer, so I knew who it was. <laughs> Bro, Crazy. would you would you ever want to fight this man? Like look no. at like like look at that yell, that roar. That's like some he's very intimidating. Shit. Very no. intimidating. And no. dude, he's the and he's the nicest guy you've ever met in your life, too. Like when you meet yeah. him in person, which you guys need to meet him in person. And apparently, uh, you know, he they stopped, they they literally sent out a message to all UFC fighters, and I think it was because of Brendan Allen. You know how Brendan Allen was kept saying Volt? They sent out a message and they said you could not mention any betting any anything afterwards uh after a fight so i don't know if gilbert's gonna when he wins he's not, i don't know if he's gonna say vaulted but i think he's gonna do something with some some volt merch and hopefully get in front of uh millions of eyeballs which would be pretty cool question jake question yes yes, yes, is, he, yes. is he allowed to wear like some shorts to have this the, the logo on it or sign not when he fights but like at the, like let's say at the press conference which gets millions of views right millions of eyeballs he can wear they can wear whatever they want he can wear right? the whole shirt he can wear a Volt shirt. He can wear a Volt hat. He can he can wear like and look at these views. UFC. Let's just do two seventy nine press conference. Uh, look at this. One point one million views. Oh, right. Yeah. UFC two eighty press conference. One point two million views. Jeez. Right. UFC two eighty one press conference. One million views. So it'll be in Brazil. Uh, hopefully he wears that'd be cool if he wears like a, a volt hat or a volt shirt or something like like and just yep. shows his support but dude, he loves the volt army i talk to gilbert all the time he's like yeah that community's strong as shit you know and he's just getting into crypto and uh yeah he loves the community so uh here's a good question guys when do we go live and what are we doing for volt's one year anniversary Woo! Hey, gotta wait to see. china bullish so china I bullish what day is the anniversary guys is because because me and me and Power like to say it's 2022. <laughs> so <we see> that, <laughs> yeah. What's the real date? I'm, I'm seeing the 19th float around online. Is that the real date? 19 is 19 December 19th. Yeah, December DeMarco. December DeMarco. Nice. December DeMarco's out there in Vegas partying with strippers. Man, I'm freezing here in California because there's no no heater. He's over there handing Volt flyers, man. Come he's on, what he always does, dude. He's the the man's free. He knows how to make money. You want to you want to learn how to make money. Follow the summer than Marco, okay? That, yes. that, guy, that guy knows how to turn a 10K into freaking out 100K in like 24 hours, okay? Absolute stuff. Uh, Made 2 million in SHIB. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's chilling. Chilling. You're going to love it. Uh, what is, uh? And, and Thomas, we hope you feel better. He said sick but still living. Volta, baby, we love that. Guys, what does GG mean? GG? GG. Interesting. What is no, it's it like get? a new, it's like a new saying. Like I, I was in like a group chat with people on Twitter. They were saying oh. GG. I don't know what it means yet. Uh, oh, well, Toshi's back. He said this anniversary got me spinning. Australia will vault it first as always. What does that mean? Australia? He, I told you he's Australian, bro. I told you he's Australian. He's Australian? Oh, good understand. game. Good game. Okay, I got it. Uh, that's what GG <laughs> means. Good game. Uh, oh, good game. He's Australian. Yeah, that's we're just guessing. Dude. We I feel like, like, because what was the one he he they came on there and I forget the word. What's the Indian word? I googled it. Chingery. Chingery. <laughs> and I still don't know what it means. Okay, everybody knows what good games. I'm showing my age, guys. I'm getting old, as you can tell. 27 years dude, young. Dude, I mean, my teenage daughter is saying "slay," bro. Like that's their slay. Like, slay. Slay. Like what? One day she came over and she's like, "Dad, I look slayed." I'm like, "What the hell did you say? What is that? You say you got slayed? I mean, what? what do you slay? That's all that's the thing we say when everything's up, Hobie. Hobie's that's in the, the chat. That's Good the game. replacement for cool. GG. Slay. GG short for Gagans. I like that. Uh, Volt will build a 24 hour green wall on December 19th. Yeah, most likely. Most likely, it's it's a that huge Eddie, event. Dude, uh, but, Eddie, Eddie's been here since I think like literally the 19th or the 20th, bro. He just yeah. every day. Every day, every live stream ever made by any influencers ever related to Volt. So and, good. Uh, Eddie's Love Eddie. you, Eddie. Eddie, we're, we're going to dedicate this stream to Eddie T for his just dedication to the Volt Army. This stream, Eddie, is dedicated to you guys. Everybody spam the comments. Tell Eddie how much we love him. Uh, this anniversary got me spinning. Australia will vault it first as 
always. I have no idea what that means. I, I think that. <laughs> I know. Exactly. What did he say? Power guy. Yeah. What is he saying? Woo! We're gonna have to have a private. Meeting. Oh man, is that what he's saying? That Holy dude. crap! Think about no the kangaroos, way. bro. Think about the kangaroos. Oh my god! Now this you get it. Crazy. Look at Jake. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I can't lie to you. Spiders. <laughs> Flying spiders. <laughs> I don't get it. The only thing I was thinking is that Australia wakes up first and the exchange listing will go live uh, first in Australia, but I, I don't get it. I don't get it. What, is, what, what are you talking about kangaroos now? Hey. Well, Toshi's got me spinning now. Hey, man. All I know is they got those big-ass spiders, so don't go over there in spider season. Do not spider. punch a kangaroo. That <laughs> They're brutal. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Where's uh, what's his name? Crypto Richards. Where's Richard? He's always in here sending me the math problems. He used to come in here and do some crazy stuff, man. He he always had a. I don't even know how he knew this stuff, but he did. Uh, but anyway, so here is something I want to chat about. We're going to talk about Australia in a second. Another exciting development from Volt Inu. Volt Inu, the Netflix listing, guys. Modern Day Warriors, sponsored by Volt, coming soon. Current prospects include HBO, Netflix, and or Amazon Prime. I shouldn't say Netflix because it's not it's not locked in yet, but it's a big big name here. Modern Day Warrior, dude. This thing looks sick. I love fighting. This is going to be a sick documentary. Super sick. Do the name, dude. Rising from the ashes, proving anything is possible. Like rising from the ashes. Damn. You know, Shout out DJ Legends. What's up, DJ? Ooh, DJ, the man, the living legend himself. The Guys man has legend. the man has turned ten thousand to a million. Not once, not twice, but three times since I've been following him. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, is DJ. Oh hell yeah. Shit. DJ's loaded. DJ. Jesus. CJ, why you never text your boy? He never texts me. Hey, Jake, I'm getting in this play. Just, just making millions by himself, having fun running yeah, the Instagram DJ. page. He has That's made, he has, he has made seven figures in three projects. Yeah, not, not including all the six figures he has made on ten plus projects. Guys, loaded. I like yeah. that. Shout out to Ricky. How you doing, Ricky? Uh, Baba G Day. What up, DJ? Baba G Day. Said Pablo. <clears throat> Excuse me, chat. Uh, for the anniversary sake in Christmas, can I be back in the Telegram group? Been out for uh, too long and so long. What did uh, you do wrong? Let me ask well, you a question. Why did you get kicked out? That's the question. He, he, That's probably, the question. he probably was one of those guys demanding Voltoshi to dox, or, or I'm selling. <laughs> that was the gentleman actually to my left. Power, power saying that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. I, I said, <laughs> I said, do you have a uh, um, Surtech audit? That's right. Surtech That's right. audit. And I was like, bro, we don't even have a website. That's my answer. We don't even have a website. It's broke. Bob <laughs> Jure, since we're in that's when, exactly what he said too. <laughs> since, since we're in the giving spirit, we'll talk, we'll talk to Pablo. If you promise to be a good member, we'll bring you back in. And look, I don't even know what you did, or and probably Pablo probably right. doesn't remember, but like right. you might have said something wrong. But if you're good, we want good people in there. That's it. Look, DM me at Pablo underscore crow on Twitter. DM me your uh, telegram at and I'll get you back in. But you have two strikes, three strikes, you're out, Baba Jude, and uh, we can't wait to have you back in there, guys. We're gonna someone. What are the what are they called, guys? Uh, what are they called when you you do the underscore the backslash underscore like the blue thing where everybody can click? They're called GG too. You know what I'm talking about though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do that and say welcome back, Baba Jude. I'm happy to have you back here. <laughs> name is cool. <laughs> DJ is only subscription. DJ is only subscription only. Jake. Oh, does he have like a Discord or something like that? Who DJ at this court? Yeah, he does, man. DJ Ooh, has it. You guys need to follow him on on Twitter. Hey, hey, DJ, drop your uh, Twitter handle on the chat so people know where to follow you, man. What's they up, game bangers? Game bangers in the chat. Real money. Follow DJ. Yvonne. Yvonne thought that we already got it listed on 100. Not yet. Uh, people, look at this. Voltoshi's making people's heads spin. Uh, Coin Spot is an Australian exchange or operates in Australia. Oh, look at this OG guy, 197, with the old freaking logo. What does he yeah. know? <laughs> coin, spot, coin spot's not on here, but he's just speculating. I think that, that's what's fun. It makes your it makes your head spin. That's why mm -hmm. like, the speculation's good. Speculation uh, is good. DJ just dropped his, his Twitter handle, guys, if you guys want to follow DJ. He's got some good stuff, man. DJ yeah. has made me a bunch of money, okay? He even made me over 100, what was it, like 150K, something like that, on a token call. Uh, Kitty Inu, Kitty, 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 he helped me out with the uh, um, crazy, 
uh, with Shinobi. I made a lot of money in Shinobi because of DJ. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you, uh, DJ. <laughs> I'm said, what's up, guys? I'm late to the best live show. Pablo, 99X changes. You should have a big smile on your face. Pablo, put a big smile on, guys. It's Christmas time. Let's all <laughs> smile. Look at that smile. Power has probably the best smile of us three. He was on here for a little bit. No, I, I, don't. I saw <laughs> the smile on NASDAQ. NASDAQ bullish. Uh, there it is at DJ Legends. Make sure to go give him a fall. Only trust Voltoshi. And Yvonne says, I only trust Voltoshi and will follow Voltoshi everywhere he goes in this crypto space. Yvonne, what if he never leaves Volt? Does that mean that you're never leaving? That's a good question. Pabloshi, yeah. we love you. Pabloshi. That's yeah, a good honestly, name. you I think Volt will be one of those tokens that I forever have a bag in Volt forever. I just agree. For, Same thing here. Just, just for the just for the culture, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just for fun. I, I want to be like one of those Shiba whales that just has a bag for fun. 200 you know? million just sitting like in there. Like you're chilling. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you have to do it for the culture. Tony P reaching. Zango, another Aussie exchange. I guess we're just going to find out what Australia means. Uh, Ricky said, any new information, guys? Uh, Volt got listed on its 99th centralized exchange. We have a verbal uh, commitment from Voltoshi saying the 100th centralized exchange was just signed. We don't know who it is. We were kind of speculating on who it is. But as you guys know on the show, we speak about facts, facts, right. facts. That's it. We're not going to say, oh, this is getting listed on Coinbase. You know, we're going to wait for it to come out. Regardless, that's how you have to operate. As a, it's a business now. You know, It's like you're running yeah. things legit. Don't want to get in trouble from the SEC. We'll get to that exchange in trouble from the SEC. Inside trading, maybe. No. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's a real thing. Like, Yeah, like, it is a real thing. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Like, they're going after the big dogs like FTX, but I can't imagine if you fake a Coinbase listing and, and get $20 million in volume and line your pockets with $4 million that that's going to be forgotten about. Like You just stole $4 million. Yeah. Yeah, that was it four or six? A lot. Someone's gonna do the math. That, that that's crazy. Like twenty percent um tax, right? Ten percent, ten percent out. Yeah, the volume is yeah, it's it's pretty wild. So we'll see what happens there. What's it, Edmund? Edmund Singleton, my guy. Good to see you here, guys. <laughs> Boom. That's an hour, hour and six minutes, guys. A great, like great, that. great stream. Time flies when you're having fun. This is one of my favorite live streams to do in the world the vaulted live stream guys look at the vault army in here packing the house what a stream what a stream 99 centralized exchanges have been listed one year anniversary coming up in five days so this will be the last live stream that we do Ooh. for the uh in, in one year for volt you know we did quite a bit of live streams quite a bit of videos and what a great year it's been arguably one of the greatest years that any token in history has ever had during a bear market would you agree pablo I agree. I agree. This this uh this is bullish, man. This is bullish. Think think about it like this. Like we have we have built not just not just Boltoshi, but all of us, you know, everybody that has supported this project, we have built the greatest run ever recorded in the bear market. Ever. Think I about agree. it. Yeah. Now imagine the power that, that massive community is gonna have in a bull market imagine it's gonna be epic man it's never been done before so we have no idea what the top will be we don't know epic absolutely epic uh of proportions we've never seen before last comment right here from murky faz he said uh ufc are sponsored by venom so let's vault partners with them i couldn't see the symbol uh, appear on their apparel future partnership yeah uh, like like i said we always speak facts like no ufc fighter can wear it when fighting or at the actual uh, weigh-ins, but on Twitter, online, at the press conference, you're, they're free to wear whatever they want. So we might be able to see uh, something here. And uh, Power, man, great having you on here today. What's your last message to the Volt Army that's in here right now? Man, uh, keep an eye out for the anniversary, man. That's all I can say. Keep an eye on the anniversary. And look, the key to... The key to making money, right, is to get in early. Get in before the tier ones. That's all I'm going to tell you. Get in before the tier ones. Like, don't wait. Into, I mean, like, don't wait into the last minute when you see a crypto.com listing. Now, now you catch yourself chasing a gigantic green candle, right? Get in now. Forget about it and then come back three to four months later and, and just... uh see what you have in your wallet. That's all I can tell you, right? Just don't get in late. Don't be late. Absolutely. 
We love that, guys. That's the show. 280 people still in here, guys. If you enjoy the show, hit that like button on your way out. Let's try to get to 200 likes on the way out. It helps spread this more on YouTube afterwards so more people can watch this vaulted up live stream. So click that like button on your way out if you enjoy the show. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you, Power. Thank you to every single person that tuned in today. We will see you on Friday with Rodney for another vaulted live stream. And I'll be live tomorrow at 9 a.m. PST. We're live every single day. And last thing, guys, if you want to join us on Twitter, 3 p.m. PST today, the Crypto Hour, me and Rodney. Guys, you got to come on there and talk uh, some Volt on that Crypto Hour sometime. It's a fun show. We talk about actual things that are happening in the crypto space. We appreciate you two coming on. Votoshi, thanks for being in the chat today, guys. We'll see you all soon. Have a good day. Peace out, everybody. Peace. Peace.